What's good, YouTube? Vikasa Kavi here. How you doing, Renegades? I missed you guys, even though it hasn't been long at all. I'm always missing my people whenever I'm not making videos. So we're going to do another Ren song. I'm just basically, I typed Ren into the YouTube search bar, and I'm scrolling down. And anything I haven't heard, a video is getting made. That's how we're going to do this. So we're going to have plenty of content with Ren for the next few weeks to months. Who knows how long? probably years with the way that this guy is writing stuff so quickly and is always a busybody. So we'll have plenty of content to do by Ren and I look forward to enjoying it with all of you. So today we're going to do Sick Boy. You already know what it is. I'm Bakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck all those apples. This is Sick Boy by Ren. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is going to be one of the mental health songs. I kind of thought that when I saw the title, Sick Boy. <laughs> Unhinged, the man. Hi Ren, thank you for coming in today. Thanks for seeing me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. How can... <laughs> The psychologist is saying your brain and your body just don't cooperate with each other. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's really creative. I like that. I like this. That it's a psychologist talking to him. And he's sitting there smoking a cigarette with his coffee, acting all unhinged. Well, here it seems there's a very apparent interplay with the emotional state in your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic time from it. I've been in one of those loops. I actually just came out of it at the beginning of this year. Holy fuck. When I say holy fuck, there are no words to describe a trauma loop. Fuck me. This is going to be wild. This is going to be a really, really interesting song. I love how artistic Ren is. This is really creative. Our subconscious can repeat patterns in the past, which can have a pretty drastic times from effect in our biology. Essentially, your mind is he's got the pig face guy it's like a saw room it looks like the room from the saw movies almost it's exactly what it looks like <laughs> I love the cheering and the beat, that creepy little background vocal choir is very high-pitched and like childish, very creepy. Wow. Bitten by a tick boy, that's the Lyme's disease. Holy fuck, yep. This is, he, he needs another steroid, right? An anabolic steroid. Boy, sick boy, bitten by a tick boy. Looking for that fix boy. Anabolic steroid, them so. Watch the boy pass out. Right noise, quick fix, snake oil. I'm about to break, boy. He said, stem cell poster boy. It's rough. So now this is going to be about the side of it where the, the treatment itself starts to have negative psychological effects on you. And now the psychologist is going to be represented as a negative force sliding the pills across the table to Ren. Oh, this is going to be good. Yes, yes, sir. Not a shame, he's in pain. Have another go. Take another pill. Here, take a couple more. Let's see how you're doing in another week or so. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. You'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Facts. It's like putting a band-aid on something that needs stitches, right? It's not going to work. It just masks it 
and then eventually it collapses in on itself and everything starts leaking out again, right? Yeah, it's only a temporary solution to a problem that you're going to have to learn to deal with forever. It's unfortunate. Hopefully someday they find a cure for all of these things, these autoimmune diseases. So you'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show. Derealization and incubation, losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan, complicate. Losing patience with the process, walking hand in hand with Satan. Just saying, this is all in the darkest of times. I feel so dark in my head right now. I'm holding hands with the devil. There's so much negative going on in my life. I don't know how to feel about any of this. Inflammation, dehydration, aggro. Ah, this multiple syllable rhyme schemes that Ren uses are so amazing. He's so good at it. I love it. Very, very intelligent wordplay. The side effects will show. Derealization and incubation. Losing patience with the process. Walking hand in hand with Satan. Complications with the medication. Inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation. Building up a toleration. That was seven rhymes there. In that whole scheme. Fucking impressive. With the medication, inflammation, dehydration, inhalation, aggravation, building up a toleration. Drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown, soccer, drown. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. I've been screaming. I've been feeling like I'm drowning with my feet upon the ground. Saying, I'm not even stuck in the water, but I, I'm standing here and still feel engulfed, right? That is a. When, when something's that bad to make you feel that weighed down and that surrounded, it's very fucking uncomfortable. It's a terrible experience to go through. Very traumatic. And you can go through it in a million different ways, whether it's a disease or an addiction or a mental illness, whatever it is, it, it manifests in all different forms in life. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. The... Mm. Uh trying to unlock the trauma the psychologist wants the trauma to come out to the surface so that it can be addressed and worked on for rent and you can see he's kind of like oh um, i don't know if i want to talk about this right i don't know if we should get into all of this i don't know about that but, uh representing the uncomfortableness of facing those things in real life in a very artistic way i love this what can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. Mm. Nice. In and out. Oh, now she's changed. She See, she changed when his eyes are closed. The true form shows. Mm. That's cool. That was a cool little thing to throw in there. I'm glad I caught that. That was really quick. That happened real quick. In and out. Good. Now tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's hate. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We can see. Oh, he said, I feel like it's not me. It's the world's world that's sick. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. No gratefulness, right? It's like you'll see people just competing with each other over the stupidest shit. Like, who has the best shoes? Oh, you don't have the best new phone. You have an Android instead of an iPhone. So on and so forth. All of these things in the world, these, these petty commodities that many people in the world have never even seen before. Like, you have to think, there's people, tribes in this world that still get like scared when they see helicopters and shit like not a, it's a you're living in a bubble 
when you think like that and commoditize everything. The world don't work like that. This is all a privilege. This is about to get very good. So me, it's the world that say we're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science we consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. I've been saying that for years. It's like human beings are cancer cells on the planet sometimes. Like the the earth is sick from the actions of humans and its natural cycle will fix that for us if we don't take responsibility and fix it, right? It will fix itself. We will be the ones that don't make it. So think about that. We need to take responsibility for the destruction and stuff that we're causing. And the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that say we're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. We're sick, we are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus. Never pray. How can you sit there with a smile and tell me that I'm sick? He's gone into a full blown state of denial and shifting blame here now he did say some really important shit right at the beginning of that breakdown but then towards the end you notice he's right up in the face and trying to shift the blame this is really interesting this has gone so many different directions like it just switched in the middle of a scheme now everybody's waving fucking sheets of paper in his face, taking camera pictures, flashing, you know, fucking, he's like, get out of here, why is everybody looking at me, stop, <laughs> he's like, yeah, I think it's a representation of being looked at like you're different and having everybody constantly here and you're just trying to fix this fucking crazy problem you got going on but at the same time your mental health is going through all of this shit that's throwing you in a million directions <sighs> wow this is something right here don't you want to be a rich boy? Fuck no, the industry is cutthroat. Hey, why you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. Hey, why you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. Hey, why you so upset? Don't you want to be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing this by myself, swimming backstroke. I've been doing this by myself, swimming backstroke. Saying, my motion allows me to still see you while I'm moving. That was a fucking bar, dude. That is a bar. I've never heard that before. I've never heard somebody use a bar like that one. What the hell, man? Rapping with a slit throat, saying I'm already fucking feeling like I'm bleeding out here, like there's nothing left, and I have not quit. I'm still going while I'm bleeding to death here. So beautiful, so metaphorical. Sorry about that, we're back. I had to go check on my little brother real quick. So we were here at the part where he was starting to break down a bunch of stuff. There was a lot going on whenever I paused. This is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people of old, we complacent to assailants and we do what we're told. Mm -hmm. We counter intelligence aside with the whole. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. We rape, we rape the earth of all the resources and, uh... Counter intelligence aside with the whole. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for gold.
It's facts. It's all greed. And then what do they use to back physical money? The gold. It's all the root of evil. Fucking money is the root of evil, to be honest. Having uh, class systems and stuff like that, it ruins everything. It makes people think that they're better than other people. When in reality, we're all just humans making the same mistakes, trying to learn the same things in different ways ways from different places and different walks of life that's why you have so many different circumstances because of how many places there are and there's so many people and now we have the class system that causes divide and it fucks the whole world up and i don't i don't know we need to fix this man this world is fucked intelligence is like the bone raise the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold and we bleed it for wealth we bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain and i'm bleeding myself i'm bleeding my brain while i'm bleeding i'm the reason because i'm doing the same help and decide the bone back a little bone raise the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold and we bleed it for wealth we bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain bleed it for wealth bleed it for fame but when you bleed it can you tell me what the fuck will remain not your riches i can tell you that not your names i can tell you that when the earth erases all of this if we don't get our shit together it will erase every record of it no paper will remain with your name on it no files, no computers, no internet. Think about that. I'm not bleeding myself, I'm bleeding my brain. While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason, because I'm bleeding the same. <sighs> While I'm bleeding, I'm the reason, because I'm doing the same. Dude. Wow. Every time I listen to a song by Ren, I'm more impressed. This one was fucking awesome. The concept of this was amazing. And we talked about some really incredible stuff in this video. I'm so glad we got to talk about that stuff. So important. Such important stuff to talk about. Very, very, very awesome. So go show Ren some love. Like this video. Subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. The original video will be down in the description as always. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck all those apples. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, bang that notification bell. See you in the next one. Peace.